Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekend feels. Okay, so this is, well, how they feel towards you. <laughs> um, in our extended reading, we're going to also the guides um, as we go on further. But this is the situation that you're in. Okay, so let's see what's going on for my Sagis. Let's see. This is you. You have your two of pentacles. Um, it may appear that you have been in a difficult situation and you're just allowing it. You know, like you're just, uh, one, you're becoming a fool out of it also. You may be crazy in love with someone and you're allowing it. <laughs> okay, this is the other person. Um, normally, the two of pentacles is like there's something difficult, a situation that you don't want to address. Okay, there's something um, behind you, your emotion, your feelings. You'd rather not address it and just go with the flow. Hence, we are Sagittarians. <laughs> We'd rather see the fun also in the connection rather than the unfun. <laughs> I don't know if there's a word unfun. Okay. So let's see though. Ooh, too much. Okay. So you have here the high priestess in your situation. It's like you feel there's someone, you know, this person is not revealing everything towards you or they're keeping something from you. Um, the high priestess doesn't share their their feelings, you know, their thoughts even. Um, and with you, you're also just allowing this. Like, oh, you know what? Keep it to yourself, you know. It doesn't bother you really, but it would help if they tell you. Now, do you want to know what's inside their head? Let's see. <laughs> uh, get this for the Sagis. This is, okay, here we go. Ah, uh, okay. Well, one, what's inside their head is their stability. It's not really concerning of you, so it's external. It's about their money and finances and where, you know, like some people, this person can be thinking of moving out, moving into a new house, and they're very tired of it. Like, they're tired of waiting for some sort of good luck that comes towards them. You know, you're a Sagittarian, so you're always basically ruled by Jupiter and this luck. So... For this person that you're connecting with, they're waiting for something good, you know? It's like, and that's what's inside their head, if you're wondering, okay? So it's external, not related to the relationship. Whatever they're not telling you is with regards to their stability. And then you have here the Knight of Cups, very good energy, can be a young water sign. This is also, you know, like when you just get charmed by the person, you just feel uh, mesmerized by them. This is your situation. It's like, you know, their looks, maybe not even your type. However, you know, when you look in their eyes, you just know. That's the Knight of Cups over here. Because it's something deep. It's something unknown to you because it's emotional. This is also what you were not addressing. You're not addressing how you are very much attracted to this person. You just know, but you can't put a finger on it on why do I really like this person. It's like, why? I don't know, you know, that's what you're, <laughs> you're having here. Underneath the Two of Pentacles, we have the Star card. When you allow this thing to just basically go and, you know, and in the sense, it's like you're allowing everything because you're hopeful. And you know that this is your soulmate. You know that this is the wish granted for you. You've asked for this kind of connection. However, there is difficulty in manifesting this connection because there's a lot of troubled waters. There's a lot of emotion that's not being addressed. There are a lot of feelings. You may know that they are, you know, they have feelings for you, but for you, it's still not clear. Even though there is uh, affection, it's not clear. You know, whatever they do it, for you, it's still not clear. All right. Not because you're rejecting it, the clarity. It's just like you want something definitive. And the star is just like relying on symbols, relying on the heavens, the stars, astrology, you know? So you're just relying on your guides. You're rely relying on the gut feeling like, yes, I trust this person. Yes, this is the one. But it's going to be difficult later on. That's a two of pentacles. Underneath the high priestess is the page of swords. What in this, <laughs> someone is hiding over here that they're stalking you or watching you, you know, like uh, social media and all this stuff because high priests with a page of swords, they are really into you and they're watching every move that you do. Um, Sagittarius doesn't have this energy, but a water sign would have this energy. An Aquarian wouldn't have that energy also, okay? A Sagittarius would just let, let go and let be, okay? And then underneath the Knight of Cups, we have here the full card, 
this is a young person who travels is going to be the person who's going to see you there's distance between the two of you and someone just wants to take a risk i told you you don't really know how you know how they feel but you just can't put a number on it and you're just being a fool out of it well you know like we're all fools when you're in love but you have to understand that something needs to be grounded in order for this um, to basically move forward this is in the start in the initial stage a new beginning is coming towards you with this person this is really someone new that that uh, some sort of awakening also because for you it's like everything just become like, it's like you know what it's okay you know you no obsession no nothing like that no attachment but there's just like it's just fine, you know, that's how you're dealing with this right now, okay? So I'm going to continue this reading, guys, on how they feel towards you. Thank you very much, Sagittarians, for watching. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.